Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Kathy, and I'm here to do your reading for Tara Tuesday. This is for the week of February 25th, and this is a general pick a card reading. So please take whatever resonates with you and leave the rest. And if you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me for that. I will leave all of my information down below. So I just want to say thank you so much to um, all of you for watching and liking and commenting. And I really, really appreciate all of your support. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do that. Um, this is going to be a pick a card reading. So how this works is you're going to take a moment, just relax, take a deep breath, center your energy, and you're going to choose either card pile number one, number two, or number three, and that will be your reading and your message for the week. If you'd like to take a moment to pause this video, you can do that as well, um, but I do recommend going with whichever card you're drawn to first. All right, so today I'm using the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot for the main read and also going to be using some additional Oracle cards. And those are Angels and Ancestors Oracle cards by Kyle Gray and Lee Moses. All right, guys, so if you've chosen your card, we're going to go ahead and get started. All right, so we're going to start with card number one. So if you chose card, cards number one, we have the Page of Cups in reverse with the mountains. And it says, stand your ground. All right, so... <clears throat> I'm going to turn this around so you can see it. The Page of Cups, you may be dealing with a water sign. This is water energy, which would be um, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. This can be someone who is younger than you um, or someone that is just immature. This, is, um, this energy is one that is emotionally immature, okay? So you may be dealing with a person who knows how to push your buttons, so to speak. I feel like they know um, what triggers you. They know how to um, get what they want from you. And they do that by um, tugging at your emotions or by, um, <clears throat> you know, they, they might even be slightly manipulating you emotionally, okay? For some of you, this can be a child, okay? It is a it is a younger energy. So you might be dealing with a child here. This could be your child or, um, you know, somebody that is younger than you who is very emotional. They might be overly emotional. Um, they might be dramatic. They might um, even throw t t temper tantrums um, to get their way, okay? But I feel like they know, again, they know what triggers you and they try to use that to their advantage, okay? With the mountains card here, it says to stand your ground against this person, okay? So this is a very strong card. You know, I feel like that you are a very strong person. You're very grounded. Um, and this is telling you to not waver, not to give in to this person. Okay. You might have, um, a battle here with this person, whoever this energy is. And it's telling you that you're, you are the more mature person. You might be the adult in this situation or the parent. Um, and it's telling you to stand your ground. And to not give in to this person. Okay. Um, for some of you, this might be a romantic situation. Um, where this person is 
always, I feel like they're always um, making mistakes and they're coming back to you with a, a lot of apologies. Okay. This is telling you to be firm and you do know where you stand with this person. Um, it's just telling you to not give in to their every, um, every wish or demand. Okay. So there you have cards number one. All right, if you chose number two, you have the Queen of Swords in reverse with the Snake card, and it says Shed Old Skin. All right, so <clears throat> we have the Queen of Swords here in reverse. This is air energy, so you might be dealing with an air sign. That would be um, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. This person, I feel, is very confrontational. Okay. <clears throat> this could very well be a, a battle of words with this person. Okay. This might be someone um, in a position of authority could be a work situation, could be a friend or even a, um, you know, a relationship. This person, if they're not in a position of authority, they think they are. Okay. So they're very bossy. They're very much wanting to be in charge. They might be telling you what to do. Um, I also feel like they're very critical. They can be very cold and distant at times as well. So I, f I feel like they're very critical with their words and um, how they come across to you. With the snake card here, this person very, ma very may well be a snake. You know, it, they may just be somebody who is not trustworthy, um, who pr maybe pretends to be on your side or pretends to be your friend. But in turn, um, it turns out that they are... An enemy or a snake you know um, somebody that can't be trusted so I think here I think what the message is here is that if someone is trying to engage you in a battle of words or wits or um, whatever whatever they are confronting you about the snake card is suggesting that you basically Get, get rid of them. Get rid of them out of your life. Um, that sounds kind of harsh, but it's saying to shed old skin, okay? So I feel like this person has done this to you more than once. They've shown their true colors to you. Um, and if they're pretending to be a friend, then I, I really feel like they're really not a true friend, okay? Um, if this is a, a work environment, you know, you might be wanting to just not associate with this person or maybe even look for a different job um if this is you know a boss or something like that so just use your you know use your best judgment again this is a general reading so it's you know it's going to apply to everybody a little differently but um i feel like it's best not to engage with this person at all now if this this can also represent you you know if this if this is representing you um, you might be overly critical of yourself or others. Okay. So it's really asking you to kind of examine your thoughts and your words and how you, um, how you speak to yourself and how you speak to others, because, um, it might not be a very healthy, um, situation. Okay. So there we have cards number two. All right, so last but not least, guys, we have pile number three. So if you chose number three, you have the devil with the shapeshifter. All right, so this is a very interesting combination here. Um... The devil card has been coming up in a lot of my readings lately, so it's very interesting. Um, 
we are in Mercury retrograde right now. And I believe that's till I think around the 10th of March. So the devil can be someone or something that comes back from your past to haunt you, so to speak. Okay. This can be an ex. This can be a person that was once toxic or still is toxic that comes back and they maybe only come around when they want something or when they need something from you. Uh, maybe they need money or maybe they need, um, you know, a favor or something like that. But they seem to only come around when they need something. Now, the devil can also speak of addiction. So this person might have an addiction. Um, they might have an addictive personality. They might just be very negative and very toxic in general. Okay. The devil, um, it can also represent the sign of Capricorn. So you may be dealing with a Capricorn, but there are a little, a lot of different situations that can occur with this card. Um, you might be feeling very much trapped by something. Um, it's a, it's an energy of being restricted or being held back, feeling like, so you're feeling like you're chained to something or, um, so feeling like some, something or someone has control over you. Okay. So this could be in a relationship. Um, this could be a job. This could be also your own negative thoughts and negative patterns and negative beliefs. Okay. But with the devil card, I always tell people that, you know, nothing has power over you unless you give, you willingly give your power up to somebody or someone. Okay. No one can control you unless you let them. Okay. So it's a very, um, it's, it's, I always say that it is, um, it's a lie. It's, it's not reality because you might feel powerless. You might feel, um, like this person or thing has control over you, but, but in re all reality, you're in control of yourself. Okay. Now we have the shapeshifter card here and these cards are just beautiful, by the way, this um, Oracle deck <clears throat> and it says transform and unveil your gifts. So again, the devil card is a very limp card of limiting beliefs. Um, I believe that we can often limit ourselves as to what we can do or who we can be. And the shapeshifter tells you that you are, you have unlimited potential. Okay. The shapeshifter can transform into anything at all. Um, you know, it's a very spiritual energy and it's about believing in your higher self and what you can accomplish. The shapeshifter in this, in this card, you can see he's transforming into an eagle that can fly or a wolf, you know, anything at all that he or she wants to be. So this is the reality is that you are capable of transforming into anything, anything at all. So <clears throat> don't fall into this, um, energy of restraint or lack or feeling like something or someone controls you because you have, again, you have unlimited, unlimited potential, um, with the shapeshifter card. Okay. So there's your reading guys. Um, these were some difficult energies this week. Um, we did have two reversals and the devil card, which is a major arcana. So there was some difficult energies. Again, Mercury is in retrograde, so that might have something to do with it. Um, but let me know. Let me know which card you chose and how it resonated with you. I love to read um, all of your comments and um, hear about your own individual stories. And I will definitely um, always respond to those comments. 
So thank you so much for watching guys and I hope you have a great rest of the week. Take care.